tell a friend, tell a family member, tell a neighbor, tell anybody. <laughs> Bounce, west side make a bounce right now. Right now, north side make a bounce right now. Right now, middle finger to the odds right now. N is you down for the cost right now? Right now, dead side make a bounce right now. Right now, get the money and we out right now. Right now, we the boys that they want right now. In the spot right now, make a bounce right now. Like that. It's time for comment shout out. <laughs> <laughs> the first comment shout out goes to Perina Dijon. Thanks, girl for supporting my channel. Watch her YouTube channel as well too. She has some fire makeup tutorials. The second, number two, comment shout out goes to my girl, Efi, the known regular. Thanks girl for always supporting. Third comment shout out goes to Twin Chin TV. They have some bomb videos as well too and they're super funny. So go to their channel, show them some support. And the fourth, the fourth. comment shout out goes to else you already know down below is where she bees at is where she stays <laughs> once again thank y'all so much for commenting down below being engaged i love when y'all comment honestly it brightens up my day what is good everyone welcome back to my channel and in this video this one right here, I'm going to show you my highlights and contour routine. It's super easy and super simple. And I'll be using products that you already know are catered to black women and women of color. You already know the slogan by now. If you think the melanin is popping, you know what to do. You got to keep on watching. When it comes to highlighting, you want to highlight all the inner parts of your face. And as it slowly fades out, it gets darker. So for instance, I'm going to be highlighting my middle forehead, under my eyes, my upper lip, and the middle of my chin. Always wanna start off with a concealer that is about two to three shades lighter than your skin tone that will give you a really good highlight. And I have the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer in the color 380. I'm gonna take it and put it on all the highlighted spots I described. my upper lip, my forehead, and my chin. I'm gonna take my flat foundation brush and then just use that to work the product and blend it out. And I just like to use this to pat the product into my skin. Like I'm saying we're using patting motions. We're not using any rubbing. See how that just melts right into the skin? I, for my forehead especially, I like to use my fingers, so don't underestimate your fingers, especially when I do my eyebrows. I use my flat foundation brush, this one right here. I'm going to use this to blend it out the corners even more. I know my forehead is looking a little ashy right now, but trust me, it'll get better when we add our contour. See how good that just blended out. Uh, now our inner corners of our face are highlighted under our eye, the middle of our forehead, our upper lip, and our chin. We can move on to my favorite contour stick of all time but it comes in such a wide variety of shades and it's my favorite like this is my go-to hands down brings back the color to my face makes it look natural nice flawless bomb okay 
my black opal true color foundation stick in the color Karab, C-A-R-O-B. I don't know if I'm saying it correct, but you know, that's how I think the pronunciation is. <laughs> Before we apply the Karab to my face, I wanna tell y'all exactly where you're supposed to apply your contour to. I have fairly high cheekbones, so I like to create a contour starting with the outer parts of my forehead, under my cheekbone, and then right under my jawline. And that's where I'm going to do the contouring. I'm gonna go up like this. And I don't like drawing the whole outline because I just feel like it can get kind of too much product. So I kind of just do sh small strokes, lines as you can say, under. And then I go under my jawline. And then I'm gonna grab my flat foundation brush again. I'm gonna just blend that out. So, just patting. I love this stick. And like I said, I like using my fingers as well, especially when I'm working close with my edges, cause you know, the edges can get a little ashy or flaky. And then, now I can buffer under my cheekbone. You see how it just creates that perfect color. Like it brings back the color to my face. So we look sun-kissed, chocolatey, melanin-y, <laughs> melanated goodness. I know mind y'all got a pimple right here. I always be breaking out on my chin. Right here, under our cheekbone, under our jawline and it gives that look, that bronze, nice color look to it. See, the color, look at that, is back to our face. We're looking sun-kissed, glowed, contoured up. So next, after we're highlighted, we're contoured up, okay, we're going to set. We have to set our contour and our highlight for it to last. I like to set it and get it to stay all day, okay? <laughs> so, let's get to it. I like to go in with two powders to set my highlight. So, the first powder I love to use is the Pro Filter Powder in Hazelnut. It's one of my favorite brushes from Real Techniques. And it's this brush right here. It's called their setting brush. I should... <laughs> Duh. And then I just go under my eye where I set. So basically where I I highlighted. By the way, I don't bake. Every time I did bake my face, I found it a struggle to blend out what I baked. So I was like, nah, let me just go straight into it and then just brush it off. But this is the first powder. I'm gonna go in with my favorite banana powder of all time. And that is the Black Radiance Banana Powder. It's just so fine and easy to blend out and it doesn't give any flashback, which I love. Like, cause I used to have some major flashback problems, but not no more, not no more, because I have this. Take the same setting brush and just do what I did before. Pet it off and do the same thing. Just brush it. And then one thing I also like to do with this is just put in the middle of my nose because it is getting a little shiny just like that. I'm going to take another Black Radiance product, one of my favorites as well, and that is their contour palette. And I'm going to use this contour color, this one right here, that I'm going to use Real Techniques brush.
<laughs> Last but not least is actual highlight pigment glitter. I take the same contour palette. I'm going to use this color right here, the highlight color. I have two of this brush, so this is more of a modern version of this brush, but I'm going to take the same setting brush right here. Something slight, okay, that will get you through the night, okay? <laughs> Put some on our nose and since we want to be extra we're gonna put it on our top lip and this is the final look thank you all for making it to the end of this video i feel like my way of contouring and highlighting is very simple easy straight to the point shouldn't take you long at all let me know what beginner tutorials you'd like me to do in the future in the comments down below since you made it to the end of this video make sure you give it a like down below comments don't you want to get featured in my next video so you know you got to leave a comment and most of all tap or click that subscribe button. I'm almost at 100 subscribers. And when I do reach 100 subscribers, I plan on having a giveaway. So y'all tell a friend, tell a family member, tell a neighbor, tell anybody <laughs> to subscribe to my channel. I mean, I don't disappoint, right? Also, make sure you all look forward to vlogs in the very near future. So Keep your eyes open for that. And I will see you in my next video. Peace. Hey, you gotta subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you know when the new shit's out. Ooh. You already know. Get on this. Get on this. Hey, hey. Uh, pride's gonna be death to me. Hold up.